Hey guys, KROC here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the complete selection modification O's Driver Complete Set from Kamen Rider O's. This is a remade O's Driver for adult collectors, which includes new contents, new modes, and new features. This set includes the O's Driver, which is made up of the buckle in two parts, the belt straps, belt stopper, O scanner, scanner holder, and O metal nest. Also included is the Poseidon buckle, a box containing 59 core metals, and a full worth bonus contents that I'll take a look at in a different video. This is going to be part one of a multi-part review in which I'll be looking at the O driver, the original 24 O metals, showing off the forms they make and comparing them to their original counterparts. So let's get started. First let's look at the O's driver itself. So, of course, with this being part of the CSM line, as I said, this is designed for adults, so it has a bigger belt size and has more premium details. For comparison, here is the original Deluxe O driver, so let's just do a side by side comparison. Looking at the buckles, you can see that this part is relatively unchanged. Because the original one was done up using mostly paint, the same applies here. Though of note is that they did add paint to the buns on top. Comparing the belt straps, obviously on the original, they're made using simple gray plastic with silver plastic for the clips. Whereas they have these more flexible vinyl straps for the CSM version, which are painted in silver, and have luggage straps inside to allow for adjustment. The belt stopper has also gotten an upgrade, being larger, fully painted, and attached via Velcro rather than being slid in to the belt. For the O scanner, It's the same size, but the paint job has been improved. You can see it now uses a more pale gold color. It has silver painted over the LEDs, both on the front and up top. The speed is still in the same place. The power switch has been moved from the side to the bottom. It also has a mode switch, a new BGM button, and a voice button. As for the scanner holders, again, it has been upgraded from simply silver plastic to a mix of silver plastic and paint. And whereas the original, again, slid into the belt straps for the new one, it's done using Velcro. Another difference is the strength of the actual holder. For the original, it's a very light lock that can be quite easily removed. But for the new one, it's a lot more of a solid lock. If you try pulling straight up, it'll actually stay in place. The trick to unlatching the O scanner from the scanner holder this time is to actually pull it outwards while pulling it upwards to allow for easy release. Finally, we have the O metal nest. The molding is identical for the most part. It's once again changed from simply silver plastic to now painted silver plastic. Both of them still hold up to six metals. You also see that the hinge has gone a lot tighter for the new one. And once again, each hinge has been made from a slot that just slides into the belt strap, so something a little bit different for this. To attach it to the belt, you actually have this clip piece, which slides off. So it allows you to have it on its own, or put on by uh, taking this piece, placing it on one side of the belt, and then sliding the other piece on. To allow for a secure connection that is easy to remove. And of course, the belt straps 
do clip on using two clips. Though in this case, unlike the original, they don't have any L or R designation written on it. So you just have to line up the notches to be able to tell which side goes where. Finally, for both of them, they of course do come in two pieces. It slides sideways like this. Though for a close-up comparison, you can see that the metallic blue paint looks a little bit lighter on the complete selection modification version. And these can also be removed from the actual buckles themselves where the inner ring is still painted. Next, we'll take a look at the O-Metals. So as you can see, they come in this papercraft box, which has a design on top made to look like the O-Metal holder. And you can see on the inside via the slit that it has several trays. It includes several trays worth of metals containing the 59 core metals. But for this part, we'll just be looking at the first four trays. Additionally, I have omitted some metals from the trays so that we can just look at the original 24 core metals. So in the first tray, we have the Taka, Kujaku, and Condor metals. As you can see, the metals have gone a big upgrade from their original versions, having better colors, paint to accentuate the details, as well as no longer being able to see the chips inside. The details also accentuate on the back as well, where you can see these stripes. So here we have the metals themselves and the backing. And for comparison, I have brought in my O-metal holder with those original deluxe 24 core metals. So starting off, you have these three, where you can see that now instead of being different shades of red, they're now all the same color, which is actually accurate to the series. And again, you can see that the details pop a lot more and you can no longer see the chips inside. Next we have the second crate containing the Kawagata, Kamakiri, and Bata medals, the Lion, Tora, and Cheetah medals, and the Sai, Gorilla, and Zo medals. And again, for comparison, here they are next to their deluxe counterparts. For the third tray, we have the Shachi, Denki, Unagi, and Taco medals, the Terra, Tricera, and Tirano medals, and the Cobra, Kame, and Wani medals. And here are the comparisons. And here are the backs of the metals in these trays. Then lastly, we have the three black core metals, Sasori, Kani, and Ebi, in the back. And then for one last comparison, here they are next to their original counterparts. Next, we'll get to the functionality of the O's driver, for which we'll need the buckle and the O scanner. Like with the original, all of the lights and sounds are in the O scanner, so we'll start by turning it on with the power switch back here, for which we'll get a confirmation line sound. And that is identical to the one that comes with the original O driver. Additionally, like with the original, by pressing and holding the trigger, We'll get the standby sound and we'll cycle through the different light colors. Now there are also the BGM and voice buttons, but those are things I'll get into in later parts of the video, or later parts of the review rather.
Now, of course, this being the O driver, we need O melds to activate the combos. So we'll start off with Tatoa combo using the Taka, Tora, and Bata metals. So we'll just slot these into the O's driver. And, like with the original, they have latches up at the top that will prevent them from falling out or being shaken out. Then we'll turn it to the side and scan them using the O scanner. And a new feature added to the O's driver is that for the scanner, you can't activate the transmission until you release the trigger. Now that was how it activates normally. And to deactivate the transmission, you press both the trader and the voice buttons at the same time. Now as I said earlier, the O scanner now has a mode switch, so it switches from this position, which is normal mode, to the middle, which is by voice mode, to top here, which is on navigate mode. For the rest of the video, I'm actually going to be keeping it on by the voice mode, as that will add in voice lines from Eiji Hino and Ankh, along with the functionality of the belt itself. So we'll start by activating the Tatoba combo one more time. And so, there's one line you can get from activating the Tatoba combo, which is a nice little touch in that it's what, or it's a little conversa conversation that Eiji and Ankh have when Eiji first transforms into O's. That being said, that is not the only line, and that's a special line that you can get just for Tatoba combo. Normally, it will sound a little bit more generic. Then we can scan them one more time for the scan charge. Another big improvement is that they've now added new special effects, or new sound effects, for the special attacks for each different combo. So next, we'll uh, just set back to normal, using this button like with the original. Then, we'll switch out the metals, and add in Kuwagata and Kamakiri to make Gatakiri by combo. Then we'll scan them again for the scanning charge. Definitely shows you how much effort they put in when they actually add in sounds for O's multiplying himself in Gatakiri Bakambo and the different Gatakiri Bas attacking. I'll switch out these metals. 
for Lion, Torah, and Cheetah to make La Torata combo. Then the scan charge. As you can notice here, in body voice mode, you'll get random lines after you activate a scanning charge. Then I'll switch these out for a Sai, Gorilla, and Zo for Sagozo combo. Then the scan charge. Next, we'll bring in Taka, Kujaku, and Condor. For Tajador combo. And the scan charge. After that. We'll bring in the Shachi, Unagi, and Taco medals for a Shouta combo. And the scan charge. Then 
there for that. Bring in Terra, Christ Terra, and Tyranno. Or Pluto Tira combo. Then the finisher. After that, we'll bring in Cobra, Kame, and Wani for Braka Wani combo. And I give it the scanning charge. And lastly, we'll use the black core medals Sasori, Kanye, and Ebi. In this case, we just get the generic sound for when you make a random combo. We also uh, hear what the generic scan charge sound sounds like. And we can release the transformation, of course, by once again, pressing both the trigger and voice buttons at the same time. And that's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two of my review, where I'll be taking a look at the new melds and new combos created for the CSM OS driver, which will be Thursday at 6 p.m. PST. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is Kero Sifty, riding off.